Hi everyone, today's video is going to be an updated hamster cage tour for my Syrian hamster Marmaduke and this is the new Detolf that we got her and um, if you get it new it's £40 from Ikea um, but I got one second hand um, for £15 and basically you just build it um, according to the instructions but you just don't install the door or the shelves and um, flip it on its back and it's a ready made hamster tank So it's a really really good size for a hamster, I think it provides about 1,004 square inches which is way over the recommended US minimum of 360 square inches and the UK minimum of 500 and something and um, we've just got it on top of these two IKEA Expedits here and we have the Droner boxes, I've got the floral ones and the green ones Here's Marmaduke here exploring her cage. Mommy! <laughs> nope, she's too busy exploring. So if we start in this area over here, um, I've just got her water bottle and I don't know who this water bottle's by. Um, I think it came with a really old cage we had, but it had quite a flat back so I thought it'd be really good for velcroing to the side of her tank. And um, I know water bottles and attaching them is a bit of an issue when it comes to tanks. Um, but I just bought some industrial strength Velcro from eBay and um, it had a sticky back. So I just stuck one side to the glass and one side to the water bottle and that holds it really, really well. It also makes it really easy for taking off and cleaning. And I don't know what Mommy's doing there. Oi! What are you doing? <laughs> She's only just got got her um, detolf so I think she's still trying to see if there's any way she can get out and I think she's testing it to see if it's Marmaduke proof. <laughs> so I've got this wrapping paper on the back which is the same wrapping paper that I had on her old tank and I think I got it from Primark for about a pound back in the summer and the bedding she's on is Fitch bedding which is very very similar to Carefresh and boxo and all those kind of paper based beddings um, it's recycled paper and it's perfectly safe for hamsters because um, if they were to pouch it and accidentally swallow any it would just break down and pass through their systems um, and they can't get tangled in it or anything um, like they can with the fluff style bedding so yeah I really recommend this bedding I think it looks really pretty as well the white um, in the contrast to the pink that we've got everywhere. So in this corner here I've just got this little dish thing which is like a ceramic um, ramekin thing which I got from Poundland and it's this pretty pale pink and then she's just got some chinchilla sand in there. Oopsie. And then here we've got the Hop Nibble Squeak Hamster House which I've done a review on which you can check out on my channel and it did have um, little grips here but Mami really likes picking things off so she pulled them off and had quite a lot of fun with them so I think I'll stick them back on but it's a really really good size house, she absolutely loves it this is where she sleeps most of the time and also stores her food so here we've got another pale pink ramekin thing and this one's a oval shape and it's got um, what's left of her food in there and also a bit of a seed treat as well. Here she's got some bendable fiddlesticks bridge which I think I got from Zooplus for about a pound, they were pretty cheap and um, she absolutely loves these, she likes sitting up on top and posing and it's also really great for her to chew if she felt like she wanted to. Here she's got her matching um, hop nipple squeak hamster play ledge I think it's called and um, it's got a really good sized tunnel here for her because Marmaduke's a really really big Syrian um, it's got her name here and it's just really adorable it's got these heart shaped ledges and she really likes sitting up here don't you? <laughs> and here she's got a bright pink Savick house um, which I never thought she'd be able to fit through um, but she can actually get through the window as well, she always surprises me because she looks absolutely massive but she can actually fit through quite small places 
And um, here she's got her little house, which I got from Pets at Home in the sale. I think it was about £3. And it reminds me of a Hobbit house. I think it's really cute. Down at this end, she's got her massive 12 inch silent spinner, which um, sounds really, really huge. It is made for rats and chinchillas and things like that. But um, it works really well as a hamster wheel. She's too big for the kind of traditional hamster wheels. Um, if you've got a big Syrian, you need to get kind of an 11, 12 inch wheel. And I was going to look into getting the Wodent wheel, but now we've got her a bigger tank. Um, space isn't so much of an issue. And it is really wide, but it means when she runs on it, she doesn't bend her back in a funny way. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. <laughs> it means she doesn't have to arch her back in an uncomfortable way. And it's nice and enclosed and, you know, it's not going to hurt her. So I really like this wheel. It was quite expensive. I think it was about £30 um, from Amazon. I think we got it from an Amazon seller. <laughs> this is something I really like about tanks as well. Is that you can put the bed in quite deep so they can tunnel and dig. And um, my dwarves especially really like tunnelling. Um, which you can't really do with the traditional wire cages. Oh, she's getting it all in her food bowl. What are you doing? Yeah, you can't really do it with the traditional wire cages because all the bedding just comes out of the sides. You're funny. And lastly, she's got this seesaw, which um, was from Wilkinson's. I don't remember how much it was, um, but I really like it. It's fun and colourful, although it is made of plastic, so it might not be the best thing for really big chewers. Um, there isn't any chews or anything lying around her tank, uh, mainly because she just buries them and then oh, <laughs> she just buries them and then they get thrown out. But she really doesn't chew anything like that at all. Um, she just kind of moves them around. Um, but she does have lots of wooden things that she can chew if she wants to. So I don't really see the need to have any chews lying around because they do just get lost. Just as a heads up, um, if you're going to get an IKEA Detolf and turn it into a tank for a Syrian hamster, it's a really good idea to make a lid for it um, because it's not very high. It would be fine for small species of hamsters. Um, robos, I'm pretty sure, would never be able to get out. And um, I'm pretty sure Syrians are the only really ones that would be able to get out. But if they have anything like this, then they can just kind of climb up. I don't really know how they do it, but they can escape. So um, it would be a really good idea to make a top for it out of some kind of mesh or something. And also if you have any animals um, like cats that are predators, um, because hamsters are obviously lower in the food chain than them. So it's a really good idea to cover it up just to make sure that there's no way they can get out and hurt themselves or nothing else can get in. So I do have a video on my channel which I'll link in the description bar on how I made this mesh top thing and um, it's not the prettiest looking but it does the job and you can kind of customise it to any size of tank or anything like that that you so want. So this is her new tank um, detolf thing and I think it's a really 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 good size for her She's got absolutely loads of space and I can fill it with loads of toys and there's still room for her to potter around and dig and do anything she wants to do. So I'm really, really excited about it. I've been wanting to get one for ages, um, but IKEA seems a bit random with the products that they stock. And some of the products they'll post out, but some of they, them they won't. And these were one of the ones that they wouldn't post. Um, although if you bought it from the store, they would send it to your house, which seems a bit weird, but there we go. So I hope you like her new tank. I'm really pleased with it, and Mummy seems to be loving it. Thanks for watching. Bye.